temperature wise, it is quite warm. 84 in Pittsburgh right now and Irwin, 83 Zelianople, 83 Washington. The spicy spot is uh, Beaver at 85, all just up the road, Newcastle, another 84 degree reading. So uh, the summer heats here, even though summer doesn't officially begin until late Wednesday morning, we have clouds and haze for the time being. Our air quality alert or code orange continues until 8 p.m. Those clouds have taken over downtown, so not the prettiest looking setup, but we still have some very warm temperatures, and I'm sure those boaters are quite happy with the temperatures, the humidity, and the light winds that are all working together. The only downfall is the cloud cover. Rain chances still start to go up a little bit as, as this week continues. So we're going to see uh, between an isolated and scattered amount of rain on and off over the next several days. And before we get to future cast, I want to talk a little bit about Brett, our new tropical storm in the Atlantic. And typically uh, storms in this part of the Atlantic don't really develop into hurricanes this time of year. But Brett has a better chance to do that because of the sea surface temperatures. You get that warming uh, that's been going on and you certainly have the ingredients in play for Brett to strengthen, especially when you start to add in those winds uh, that are conducive for development here. But 40 mile per hour winds now, but as Brett continues towards the Windward Islands or the Lesser Antilles, um, this is where we're going to see this potentially at category one strength of 80 miles per hour. That'll continue to stay at category category one strength on its current projections as it crosses into the Caribbean Sea and then up towards uh, Puerto Rico and uh, and uh and uh, Haiti and the Dominican Republic potentially as a tropical storm, potentially as a uh, strong tropical storm or weak hurricane. So certainly uh, something to watch there, especially if you know anyone who has some vacation plans in the Caribbean locally. We have some rain lifting up and you can see this system is largely to the south. So as it lifts up, that makes our southern communities the better candidate to see rain and thunderstorms. And we've had one little shower and it has a little downpour associated with it between Chartiers and Cokeburg. And uh, this is uh, right along 40 uh, and then down into Greene County. So just know there are a couple little speckles of some heavier precipitation out there. But when it comes down to it, most of the rain is going to be found to the south and most of the rain and thunderstorm activity is going to be during the heat of the day over the next few. So you'll notice tomorrow. Yeah, we could see a shower thunderstorm trying to develop, but the better chances come into play Wednesday night and Thursday as that rain lifts in from the south and then continues to uh, overspread the area. So more rain, more thunderstorms this week, and we could use every drop still with our uh, moderate drought that continues. We'll find out if we get that changed on Thursday when the new drought monitor comes out, but mostly cloudy, only isolated rain tonight, 65 warm degrees back to the 80s tomorrow and then the rest of the week you could see several chances of rain and thunderstorms especially getting towards the weekend.